In making any purchasing or money-related decision, every client wants to be working with an expert, someone who has a definite and legitimate solution to their problems. Nobody wants to be paying someone who may end up wasting their time and money because of insufficient capability and knowledge. As a marketer, you have to stand out among the crowd to attract clients. You are just one of the millions of fish in the infinite ocean of alternatives. So what makes you different from other marketers in the business? What does it take to make clients opt for your service or product over somebody else? You become the expert. You establish a brand that everyone seeks because you're the best go-to expert. Here's a few steps on how you can position yourself as an expert in your field and stand out among other marketers. Step 1. Define your expertise and own it. A lot of people tend to say, but I'm no expert. Yes, sometimes it's true, you probably aren't the best there is. But often it's just the wariness and low confidence playing in your mind. It's funny how even after spending years in a field and producing consistent results, people would still be wary to stand up and claim themselves as true experts. Think about it, if you're not confident in your expertise, how and why would any client be willing to pay you big money for business? So don't be wary about what you're good in. Be bold and clear. Stand up and own it. Speak of your expertise to people. Tell clients what you're good in, why, and how you did become the expert in what you're doing. Also, what's in it for them if they pick you instead of the others. Think about it. Would a client rather work with someone who says, well, I guess I help people um, get more traffic and something like that? Or someone who says, I am an online traffic expert. Be definite and confident. Own it. Your client would appreciate it as it instills confidence in their decision to work with you as well. Next up, step two. Create an expert intro for yourself. Come up with things that can introduce your expertise to clients, videos, articles, interviews, or even live talks, just anything that you can use to reach out to people and introduce yourself. An expert intro will help to establish your credibility. It's a very powerful tool to convince your clients that you are indeed who you say you are. In your intro, you can state your area of expertise, your tagline, any catchphrase or slogan that you can use to advertise yourself, the name of your website, your service or product, etc. Make sure it's one that will clearly work to inform clients about your expertise and what it can bring to your clients how you can help them, and why should they choose you. Step 3. Share your credibility story. It's extremely essential to provide stories or past experiences that can further prove and justify your claim as an expert. Therefore, it's important that you share your story to enhance your credibility. It works as a connecting device between you and the audience. It helps to establish authority and trust. Then it motivates them to take action. Do this step by step. You can begin by sharing your story about how you struggle to succeed. This will draw rapport as people can relate to you. Later, then you can describe your qualifications and experiences. What are the sources of your deep knowledge? This will work to demonstrate why you know more than other people in the market. Things like certifications, degrees, years of experience, first-hand trial and error, etc. should do the job. Lastly, you can share your personal stories of finally achieving success as well as the stories of your successful clients and customers. How did they achieve success through doing business with you? Step 4. Testimonials are the best social proof. This is the best and most effective way to build trust and credibility. Another person's comment or opinion about you is a very powerful tool. Most people would trust a third party's word more than the person's words themselves because we believe in majority and we find social proof more trustworthy and legit. So if you're not already receiving some volunteered testimonials to review your credibility, you can start asking people to help you. Send an email to your list to request for their feedback on their experience working with you. If you're willing to go further and extend, you can also offer free coaching sessions to people who in return are willing to be a part of a before and after experience case to be featured as a social proof testimonial on your site or blog. Step 5. Marketing Approach How you sell and communicate to your clients will affect your positioning and credibility also. A lot of marketers are still using the old selling approach where they talk about themselves. For example, look at how good I am, pay me money and I'll do it. 
If you're always talking about yourself, how good you are whenever you engage in conversation with clients, you'll be perceived as pushy and a fake wannabe expert. An expert selling approach is to talk about how you can help them get to the results they want. For example, you need help? Well, here are some things I can do to solve your problem. Let's do this and also that. Now, how did that work for you? Great, why don't you try this next? Let me know if there's still a problem. Clients are simply looking for people who can solve their problems. The amount of money they're willing to pay you will be in direct proportion to the amount of confidence they have in your ability to get them results. So in order to build that confidence in them, you need to reach out to them with that right approach. Demonstrate that you can help them by actually giving constructive and result-paying solutions to them. Give the prospect what they want and it will get them to raise their hands and say, please help me.